Hey, Happy New Year, everyone! For the first video of 2025, I want to share with you a photo editing technique that I use very often to an orange color grading. It's super popular because it gives your photo that cinematic vibe by mixing warm orange tones with cool teal hues. This works great for portraits and landscapes because orange makes skin tones and ground color pop, while the teal adds a nice touch to the sky. It's an easy way to make your photos stand out. I will demonstrate with Lightroom, but you can achieve similar effects in other editing softwares too. Let's observe this image. We have large area of blue sky, and the orange is mainly in the gentleman's jacket as well as the ground right here. So we need to take advantage of this and add more color contrast. First, let's do some basic adjustment to the geometry. I think the exposure of this image is alright, so we don't need to do much here. But the curve, personally, I'd like my black to be not entirely black, so I'll put an anchor in the middle and lift the black a little bit. You can see the before and after. Before and after. It's just a personal taste. It has nothing to do with the teal and orange we are talking about today. Next, let's dive into our subject, color contrast. I'll change the hue of blue the more you push to the left, the more green it will become. I won't push too far in most cases because I don't want the color to look artificial. And this is the before and after. As for orange, I'll increase the saturation and brightness to make it pop. Let's move on to the color grading panel. The color wheel at the top will affect your mid-tone, so around the area of this man and the blue sky. I will give it some orange, but not too much because I don't want the sky to look yellowish. Now the color wheel at the bottom right will affect the highlight, so it's around this area. Again, I will add some orange. Next, we will adjust the shadow area. I want to add some teal to the shadow right here. Finally, I'll add some vignetting, not too much, just a little bit to highlight our subject. All right, it's pretty much the look we want but there are still some tiny things we need to adjust. I'll erase these spots here, just some dust on my lens. It can easily go away like this. I think we can make the man pop even more. Let's create a mask around him so that everything we do next will only affect the circle area. I'll raise the contrast, add some yellow, and I will select this brown color, make it more saturated and a little bit brighter. Okay, this is the before and after of this mask. And now this is the before and after of our entire process. You might say this is blue and orange, not teal and orange. Well, yes, but like I said, too much teal will make the image look artificial. But of course you can fine tune this according to your personal preference and we can press Command plus C to copy the editing to another image. Command 
and V to paste. And here's the result. Now we only need to make some tiny adjustment to the exposure. This technique is especially effective for outdoor shots like sunset and especially great for autumn vibes like the photos I just showed you. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a go. Your photos will transform into something truly eye-catching. By the way, if you like my photo editing, I have other tutorials too. Feel free to take a look. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.